I want your undivided attention. I have someone here that's very dear, special to me, right? He's been my friend for about 35 years. When I played in Europe, he came over there, spent some time with me when I was playing in Europe. He also coached one of my AU teams last year, which was one of the top teams in the state. His first year coaching one of our teams, probably one of the best basketball minds in the country. He was the assistant coach at Maynard Jackson High School. They went to the state. A big part of that was because of him, right? His knowledge of the game. He worked with girls, he worked with boys, he do development. But he also is a business owner, right? He's an entrepreneur. He owns his own business, right? And he gonna tell you kind of what that is and what goes into that. But in order to really get ahead, okay, you get a job, I get that. But you gotta start thinking about entrepreneurship. And I'm gonna tell you why. My boy Clark, stand up, where you at? Stand up, give him a hand. Come up here. Come up here real quick before I introduce Paul. Come here, come here, come here. This young man right here, I want you to tell them, listen, he coming to the, the camp, what you selling in the camp? Gatorade. I was trying to sell Gatorade because I wanted to make some money. You understand what I'm saying? That's entrepreneurship, give him a hand. Already. So, hey, my boy Paul, he also played basketball, football in college. He was a three, four star athlete. So listen, guys, let me tell you something. Everybody gonna be a professional athlete, but you can be a business owner. Hey, you can, you can be in corporate America. You could, you, could be, you could be in the White House. You can be whatever you wanna be. You can be attorney. And I just brought him here to, just to drop some niggas on y'all. With no further ado, man, y'all give him a, a loud round of applause. Welcome him. Thank you, guys. Paul S. Yes, Coach Bo Bell. I met Coach Bo Bell about 35 to 40 years ago. And actually, we met playing basketball at a local YMCA. He won't never admit to this story, though, but he came in there with his guys. And my guys, we had been playing ball together all these years. So we had this chemistry. Everybody say chemistry. chemistry. Say team sport. team sport. That's what basketball is, right? So Coach Bo would have about 35 points game. And we would have 60, right? But he would have all his team's points because I had a team that played well together. So he don't like to admit to that story, but that's how it goes. We couldn't never stop him, but we would win, right? So that developed our first bond, our first friendship. And he said, hey, guy, you're a pretty good guy. He said, I would like to get to know you more. You, 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 don't, you don't come to me asking me for anything. You always offering it. Hey, man, we go out to eat. I get a tab. He'll pay for the next tab. So he said, he invited me over to Europe. Greatest experience of my life. So we go there, and first night, Coach Bo and I, we out there warming up, and he's shooting threes out here, and these other guys come in, 6'11", 6'10", and they're all guards. I said, you got a 6'11 guard, 6'5 point guard. I'm like, wow. And actually, Coach Bo was 6'5", 6'6", and he's the one that's shortest guard. And I'm like, this is so amazing. And he said, Paul, I want you to pay attention to one thing. Pay attention to the basics. And I know he say this all the time. Does he ever say, do not get bored with the basics? Yes. How many times you say that a day? 30. At least, right? But he planted that seed in my head then, and I kept saying, don't get bored with the basics. American guys, we can jump out the gym. We ain't got to worry about all that basic stuff. He said, Trust me, Paul, future going to be flooded with guys from overseas. And if you think about it, besides last year, guys, how many guys that won an MVP that was Europeans from foreigners? How many? How many? Giannis. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Giannis from Greece. Yeah, you're right. Who else? Jokic. Jokic. He won it back to back, right? Who else? Luke, all right, so all those people are foreigners, and I'll get to you shortly. I'll get, to you, I'll get to you shortly, right? But my point was this. Don't get bored with the fundamentals, as Coach Bo has been preaching for over 35, 40 years. And one of his primary duties besides playing basketball was that he had to have camps like you all. So part of his contract, when he finished playing basketball in the European League, he had to Man, he was mandatory that he provide camps. And they was like, okay, teach us your knowledge from America. And that's how these Frenchmen and all these people you see now flooding into America started with 
American players going over there teaching their guys how to play basketball. I got a quick question. Name five point guards. Go. All right, next. All right, next. Next. Speak up. Okay, next. All right, he just named five of the top point guards in the, in the National Basketball Association. Think about it like this. Can you take any one of those positions? Can you beat any one of those guys? Yes. You sure? Yes. Who think you can beat Steph Curry? Raise your hand. Well, I'm going to tell you what Steph Curry would say. They're thinking the same way you are. You're not going to come in and take my position. It's only 30 guaranteed contracts in the NBA. 30. And guess what happened the next year? It's going to be 30 more. So that means what? 30 is not going to have a job, right? So that's the mindset you have to have. Now, if you're not coming in this gym, beside what you're doing with Coach Bo and his staff, you're going to be so far behind that curve. Less than 0.8% is going to make it to the league. Less than. Only 30 guaranteed contracts. Guess how many players are in the NBA? It's 480. Take a, take a few, you know, drop off a few. And, and it's even harder for the WNBA. How many teams are in the WNBA? It's only 12. How many universities and colleges there are in America? At least 5,000. You count J, JUCO and D1, D2, D3, D1s. So you get my point how hard it is going to be to make it to the next level. So that's why Coach Bo said, how many of y'all want to be entrepreneurs? That's why he said it. So I want to see some hands. How many want to be lawyers? Who want to be a lawyer? Who want to be an accountant? Accountant. An accountant. And accountant to count that money when those players sign the contract. Because everybody's not going to make it in the NBA. Right? Everybody's not going to make it. Hold on one second. I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna let you ask the question. One second, everybody's not gonna make it. How many of you ever heard of Eurostep? Raise your hand, you heard of Eurostep? Guess what? Good, good, guess what? I never knew of a Eurostep until 15, 20 years ago. Guess what me and Coach Bo did? Right hand strong to the hole, left hand strong to the hole. Then after that we do it, what? Little crossover. Crossover. Now you got guys euroing, pivoting, coming back, scooping up and under. See how the game is evolving? If you're not working on those skills, and I know Coach Bo said what? Feet work. If you're not working on those skills, you're going to be left so far behind. That's when I come in. Start your own business. And it don't necessarily have to be a college degree to start your own business. I can tell you this. A plumber came to my house last week, and he said, I'm going to have to charge you $89 just for showing up. And I'm going to have to charge you $150 per hour. And that's just for a plumber. AC the same way. Did you pay it? I had to. We're getting Air conditioning, right? You see how hot it is outside? It was 97 degrees the other day. Yeah. ACs are going out like that. So if you want to ski, electrician, all carpenter, any of those skills besides basketball, I would encourage you to start looking into. All right. Any questions so far? Any questions? Yes, sir. Speak up. Technology. They got this thing called A. Is it AF? Artificial in AI. Artificial AI. AI. Right. That's a, that. You know what that's going to be incorporating. So now let me tell you this. Let me explain to you this. They have simulators where if Coach Bo says something it's, and then they got an AI saying something, it sounds just like Coach Bo. And you would never know the difference. Technology is, is something else. Guess what else is coming about? Robots. Robots are taking over jobs. In the uh, automobile industry, robots does probably 80% of the jobs. So you got to do something with your hands, guys, that they can't take away. Carpentry, electrical, uh, AC units, things of that nature. Now, myself, I grew up in South Georgia, 
So I didn't have a lot, I couldn't go to basketball camps. Only basketball camps I went to was when the neighborhood kids got together and we just hooped. That was our camp. We're going to meet at 5.30. First of all, we're going to meet at 9 o'clock in the morning, we're going to go hoop, then come back at 5.30, we're going to go hoop. On concrete, not this air-conditioned, enclosed environment, climate control, but that's how we made it. And that's what I was, and you couldn't come back in until lights come on. And Coach Bo lived in Atlanta, he was the same way, right? Good. So now I just want to say this, guys, basketball is going to be so hard it's going to be so hard for you. And I'm just being honest. And anybody can name small forwards. So some of y'all are not going to be guards. Who? LeBron. LeBron. Who else? Nah, that's small forward. Small forward. Yes, sir. Who? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to get to you. We're going to get to you. Who else? Kevin Durant. Okay. Larry Bird. Those are great players. So in your mindset, listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up. Your mindset has to be that for me to make it to the league, I have to take somebody's position. And if you're not training hard like those guys to take their position, find another occupation. 